So today we're dealing with um, 10 ways not to trade Forex. Odo is joining from Italy. Good to have you, Odo. Celeste. How is Italy today? Great, great, great. Let me see. As the reminder of a sent, good. Great, 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 great. So let's kick off. How was your trading? How's your trading been? If you are new to trading, type in one. If you are new to trading, type in one. If you're already trading, type in two. <laughs> I'm, old, I'm old to trading. <laughs> you're new to trading, type in one. Samojo two. Ayola two. Is Ayola, let's talk after this session. I need to, I need to hear from you. If you're new, type in one. So a lot of you already, you're not new to forex, so that's fine. Okay, Manuel is new. Manuel Lama is new. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm new to trading. <laughs> okay, I see. I see, good to have you on. So let's get to work out. I, I want to try and not use the slide, okay? Because you guys know, I always like to teach from my heart, okay? I'll use the slide, I know what's on the slide, okay? So we'll deal with that one by one, then we'll go through some analysis, then um, we're going to be good to go. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> Fantastic. Ready, 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 ready. Ready, ready, ready. Fantastic. So what, what led to this? What led to this training? I've seen a lot of people talk about how to trade, but there's also how not to trade when I was talking to my team. And I said, guys, we need to, we need to let people know how not to trade. Because if you know how to trade, you need to know how not to trade. Come on, guys. If you get what I'm saying, type in five, five, five in the comment box. So I've seen people talk about this strategy, that strategy. Uh, this is what I'm using. This is the best. But why not tell me what, how not to trade? Tell me how not to trade. I didn't learn that when I came in. I only learned how to trade. And learning how to trade is general. But if you can tell me how not to trade, so if you can tell me how not to trade, I'm good. Because it will also allow me to know and I can leverage on that and I'll be good to go. So are you guys ready to go through how not to trade today? So in my over 10 years of experience um, playing in this industry,
<laughs> oh God. So my goal today is to is to trash out not to trade. And the first, 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 first rule is number one, understand the Forex market. Everybody type in, understand the Forex market. I did not understand Forex market and I was trading and I went ahead, I funded, I went ahead, I lost money and I kept on funding despite the fact that I know that I did not understand what I was doing. Come on, guys. How many of you have been there before? You didn't understand or you just wanted to make money. I've been there, guys. I didn't understand, but I was pushing. I just wanted to make money. As a matter of fact, I did not follow the engagement rule. And I'm going to be going practical with us as we are going in, in this. I'll share my screen. I'll be telling you those thoughts on the chat. Because if you're, if you're coming into a business, if there's anything that is, in that is very key for you to have access to is the basics. The reason why Forex was in existence. Why I am trading Forex? Some of you, the only reason why you are coming to trade Forex is because you want to make money. But can you step it a bit further to know that you have a better understanding not to quit Forex? Some of you on this call, you will later quit Forex because you don't even understand what the whole Forex market is all about. Come on, guys, if you agree with me, put in, put in two on the chat box. The reason why I did not quit for it was because I had an understanding when I was starting. I had an understanding when I was starting. Somebody said, oh, are you, I used to trade for it. Yes. Well, I'm not talking about feeling now. I'm not talking about, do you really understand why you are trading for it? Do you really understand what the Forex market is really all about? Do you really understand what it takes to succeed in the Forex market? Do you really understand what to do and what not to do in the Forex market? Do you understand where the money is living and where the money is coming from? Do you understand what is happening in the Forex market, in the A book and in the B book? Hey, Mr. Maya, what are you saying again? Which one is A book? Which one is B book? You don't know. And if you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> if you don't know, you don't know. But you have to know. You have to know because you don't want to. You want to, you want to do business with understanding. How many of you have heard about A book before, B book before? How many of you have heard about A book, B book? You've heard about A book, B book before? Put in, put in, put in, put in five. You've heard about A book and B book before? Okay, somebody say, I have, but I don't understand. <laughs> the money you make from the forex market, where do you, who, Ibuku Victor, good to have you. The money you collect from the forex market, who are you collecting the money from? Tell me. The money you want to collect, who are you collecting it from? Who are you trading with? Who are you trading against? Who is giving you the profit? Who is collecting your money? Tell me, guys. You need to know all of these, guys. You need to know. You can't just say, I want to make money. And all you are after is to make money. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that you have a bad this thing or you just have to know. 
So <laughs> good. So who are you making the money from? Where you click buy and is in take profit and your account is in profit. When the trade is stop loss, who are you losing the money to? <laughs> the institutions make money. Okay? So when you lose, uh-uh, 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 lie, lie, up and report, don't talk again in this. <laughs> I'm not seeing your response everywhere. <laughs> okay, so Celeste says, I am losing to broker. Uh -huh. Okay, somebody says he's losing to broker. Okay, who are you losing to? So where you make money, Celeste, who are you making money from? Where you make money, who are you making money from? This is a real deep session today. And I, believe, I strongly believe if you can get this, it will help you for the rest of your life. Okay, so Victor says that liquidity providers. Good, Victor is, Victor is informed. If a trade is stop loss, money goes back to traders that make profit on the same trade. Ah, oh, not at all. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> I am loving this. How many of us really want to understand this? How many of us really want to understand? Because when you understand, you will not quit Forex. Victor is raising up his hand. I feel you. I feel you. Okay, so let's do it this way. There is a buyer. There is a seller in the market. Each time you click buy, there's somebody at the other end that is selling. Each time you click sell, there's somebody at the other end who is accepting your order. Good. So who are the people at the other part of the market that is making the market, that is allowing you to be able to place a trade and the trade initial initiates immediately? You went to... You, want, you went to the market, you want to buy a bag, it means that there must be a seller in the market that is ready to sell to you. So with that being said, every time there are buyers in the market, every time there are sellers, but behind the scene, we have people that we call liquidity providers. Everybody type in, liquidity providers. Now, these liquidity providers, they are the big boys in the market. Come on, come on, come on. These, the people behind are the big boys in the market. These are the people, are the big brands that I told you about before that there are about 11 of them that rules in the affairs of the market. These people's money are put in the market as liquidity providers. So what happens? You have 10,000 US dollars in your trading account. Each, when you risk $1,000, there's a liquidity provider that has made available an average of 10 times your money for that transaction. Oh. Now, these people, they do not influence the market. That's what all of you used to. These liquidity providers, they are not manipulators. They are not the market movers. They, they are not the institutions trading. But the providers are in for business. And when 
you click buy, sell, all of those things you're clicking, the liquidity providers, they are the one taking the risk. Either your trade will hit stop loss or not. Oh, type in, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Because if you get this, you will not be saying a broker is manipulating you. You will not be angry to say a broker is the one doing this to you. No, no, it's not a broker's game. So where does the broker come in? The broker is the one linking you and the liquidity provider together to the server. So this liquidity provider is in this on the server, on the data server. You as a trader, you are approaching the data server through the broker. So when you click buy on MT4, a liquidity provider is available on the server to provide liquidity for your trade. When your trade is stop loss, the liquidity provider is the one in profit. Oh, I, 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 I. what am I saying tonight? <laughs> when you eat sell and the, the, the trade is stop loss, eh, the liquidity provider is the one that collected the money. That is why eh, when you lose your account, when you lose an account <laughs> of every world, is the way who has bankrupt many. <laughs> oh, okay, my boys. <laughs> oh, God. Are, are we getting this tonight? Good. So, but these people, they make a lot of money. These people, the kind of money they make, woo, yes, because a lot of retail traders are not willing to learn. Ah, they are not willing to learn. They prefer they should be learning on the job. They prefer to be learning from the job. Put in 7-7 seven, seven if you are learning today. Type in 7-7 seven, seven if you are learning. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Great. So if you understand this, you will be good to go. So no broker is fighting with you. No. Can't see you. Can you guys hear me? Put in seven seven. Let me be sure you guys can. Oh, great. Great. So Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. So this is very important for us. So there is a volume in the market that you and I can profit from. So as we trade, be conscious that you want to make profit from the market with this understanding. So can brokers manipulate? Yes, they can, ex they can only in widen spread. And an average broker is only permitted to widen spread only at night when the market is changing over to another day. That is the only time. And the reason why they ex the ex ex this, this, the increased spread is because there is always a change of price. So when they expand, they immediately move in into it. So um, Gab says, what of during news? There's nothing, nothing happens during news. Data is data release. During news is data release. And when data is released, nothing happens. When data is released, nothing happened. 
Nothing happened. His data release spread by broker. Yes, it's because they want to. Yes, what they are trying to do is to play safe. Is to play safe if from what the market is going to be reacting to once the data is released. Okay, don't worry, let me teach on. At the end, we'll talk about it. Mm, so that I can teach. If not, I won't be able to teach as I take questions. So you want to go on, go out today and understand what is happening behind the scene. What is happening? What are the things that makes a currency a currency? What are the what are the concepts? What are the things that makes forex forex trading? You want to understand when there is too much money in the market, when there's volatility in the market, you want to understand. You want to ask all these questions so you understand the business you're doing because it's more, so much more. More, there's more. <clears throat> there's more. Trading is more than just, just, uh, just buying and selling. Trading is more. It's more. Now, number two is that <clears throat> you need to avoid emotional trading. A lot of people, the issue when it comes to trading is that they just trade with their emotions. And it's one of the biggest mistakes a lot of new traders do. The fear of missing out. And Mr. Mayawa, I don't want to miss a trade. Mr. Mayawa, I want to make profit. The only way those that trade without emotions win, are you ready for this? The only way is to develop a trading plan with specific entry and exit. That is the only way. Not to trade with what? Emotions. Because I don't want you to be jumping in and out of trades. What are the ways to overcome emotion? Tell me. What are the ways? Good. Develop a trading plan with a specific entry and exit. This is why I tell people that there is a lot to do in the Forex market. After you've identified a strategy, you still need to know when to apply the strategy. You still need to know when to use, uh, what will you see before you enter the market? You need to know what you will see to exit the market. Oh, are you guys learning today? So Mr. Mayawa, I'm emotionally disturbed. Anybody that is telling you that is emotionally disturbed, it means that the person does not have a trading plan. And your trading plan must have specific entry and exit rule. Oh, very key. Because if that is not there, oh, you're going to be missing out. You're going to be like, geez, you want to read? You're sorry, you enter a trade, you cannot eat, you enter a trade, you cannot do so many things because you are in that trade. No, that is not trading. Something is wrong. You are not, you can't, you can't talk to your wife, you can't talk to your children. When you enter a trade, something is wrong. Your emotions, your emotions, are, are, you still have issues with your emotions. You still have issues with your emotions. Now, if you have a trading plan 
type in one. If you don't have a trading plan, type in two. Your trading plan must have entry and exit. If you have a trading plan, type in one. If you don't have, type in two. Thank you for being honest. If you have, thank you. Because your trading plan is the one that gives you the confidence to enter the trade. So if you don't have a trading plan, you should not be trading. Because if you trade, you will be emotionally disturbed. It's not the devil. It is not, it's not. And some of you, once you are in negative, you start speaking in tongues. You start praying, oh Lord, help me. You know I'm your son. No. Everything that is between human, God that is that is already in a process, God really don't go to put, get involved like Jesus. God really don't get involved. You just have to put in. For example, a lot of times we were praying uh, for Irish, uh, Peter Obishu win. Peter Obishu win, but there is a process that people are not following. So praying that Peter Obishu win is just prayer because there is a culture or there is a uh, constitution that is already set up by man to win, that the president should win with. So when it comes to the forex market, you need to make sure you are trading without emotions. So Mr. Mayawa, how do I creates a trading plan. Are you ready for that? If I go to number three. Because each challenge, how not to trade, has a way to move that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Great. So how do I develop a trading plan? Number one, what are the engagement rules for me to enter a trade? What time frame am I trading on? What do I have to see before I click buy or sell? You have to set up those structures. And I've told you, have a journal. Create a journal that you'll be recording your trades in so that you will not just be jumping around and saying you are trading. No, you are not trading. Especially when you are trading with emotion. Is that clear, guys? Is that clear? Fantastic. Is that, oh, is that clear? Are we ready for number three? Have I given you a solution for that? For number two? Good. So number three is don't over trade. Don't over trade. Write that down. This is ways not to trade. Hey, you have a good strategy and you have multiples of orders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, there's danger. There is what? There is danger. 
because when you overtrade, you have higher tendency to end up trading outside the box, then you lose. So what's overtrading? It is a common pitfall for novice traders. Avoid the temptation of placing multiple trades simultaneously or excessively. Focus on quality rather than quantity. Focus on quality rather than quantity. Be patient for the right opportunities. Over trading, when I first started trading, I can, once I see the movement, I just add up, stack it, stack it, stack it, stack it, stack it. Then when it comes back, the account is gone. If you have been there before, type in three. Don't be too serious, Abby. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, type in three, 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 three. The last account some of you blew was based on stacking. You are adding up. You are negative. You are still adding. You are negative. You are still adding. <laughs> Woo! You are negative. You are still adding more position. Adding more position. Adding more position. Why? 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 Stop stacking. Can you even be disciplined for once? Stop stacking. Stop stacking. Stop just stacking. It will soon reverse. It will soon reverse. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> Joseph Upa. Upa. <laughs> Oh, no, stop stacking guys. So what do I do to do that? Know the area where you want to enter the tree. And that should be the only area you should enter from. Know the areas you want to enter a trade. And that should be the only areas you should enter a trade from. Like for us in our community, we have what we call direction, location, confirmation. That location, that means that that is the only place I should enter a trade. And direction, it can be counter trend, it can be, it can be trend, can be with the trend. And if it is counter trend, how should I enter? If it's with the trend, how should I enter? You need to settle with that. See, you're not, you're not just seeing empty four, and you're seeing the candle going up, and you enter. You give another green, you enter. You see another green, you enter. You see another green, you enter. Then, you see two reds, you are not comfortable. You see two reds, you are not comfortable. The reason is because you are not trading. You are gambling. An average businessman knows when to go into the market. A businessman, one of the businesses I, I consult for, he called yesterday. He said, sir, uh, this time now that it's raining, my business is, um, I deal with um, chilled stuffs. But right now, when the weather is, I can't, I can't sell. That's how a trader should think. That is how a trader should think. But you are the one. Everything. <laughs> you are not detailed. You are everywhere. There's a lot. There's a lot. The next one is avoid Impulse decision. 
avoid impulse decision. Don't make impulsive trade decision based on short-term market movement or tips from unreliable source. Always conduct thorough analysis and research before entering. Base, base your decision on sound technical and fundamental analysis. Be like G's. JPY has been weak for more than three, four months. Yeah, more than eight months. One, two, three, four. Yeah, more than six, eight months. And you can you just need to keep buying. I tried selling last week on share JPY. It hit my stop loss. It means that the buyers as the the weak, the JPY, they are still weak. And if they are still weak, there's nothing you can do because the fundamental is telling us that this fundamental and sentiment is telling us that JPY is weak. The data from the COT brand that the index um, change, um, rate of change, all of them is telling us JPY is weak. Well, guess what? Some of you, you still want to go in against you want to sell USD JPY. You want to sell GBP JPY. You want to sell those JPYs. Why? Because you're only basing your, your, because your research or your decision is only based on technicals. And technicals is like, like let's say like 30% of the entire market, 30 to 40% of the entire market. Sentiment takes more, uh, takes its own part. Uh, fundamental takes its own part. So you have to understand that, oh, the institutions are not buying. I should not buy. The institutions are not selling. I should not sell. You have to have access to that data. Such data will allow you to just pick your technical analysis and trade in alignment with them. And making sure that you are not just buying based on import. Some of us, let me tell you how I overcame that. Are you ready? Would you like to know how I overcame that? I deleted MT4 from my phone. And I'm sure some of you can might not do that. Did you guys say, what, what did I do? Type in what you just said. I deleted, so if you come to my, my phone right now, I don't have MT4 on my phone. I don't have MT4 on my phone. No MT4. I don't trade them. I don't trade them. Because I noticed that I used to enter the trade impulsively. So I trade from my laptop. No, because if you can overcome it, go ahead, leave it. But if it is something that is taking you into, you know, the only book says that if uh, if your eye is making you to sin, it says you should blind cover it. it says if one, your hand is making you, if one of your hands is making you to sin, it says you should cut it away. <laughs> now, this says you should cut your hand. I'm just telling you what is in the only book. So it means that if it is the empty form that is on your phone, that is making you not to do something else with your life, that when you see empty, when you see empty form, you will always want to open. And once you open empty form, you always want to enter trade. Now, some of you have already grown and you've overcome that already. But if it's still a challenge, what is it doing on your phone? Come on, guys, if you're learning, type in, I hear, I hear, I hear, right? If it is not helping you, who will, will we cheat? Trade on laptop. Olubide says, I will delete my own MT4 also, sir. Talk to me directly. I hear, I hear. I hear.
I'll take your question order. Select the later, okay? I don't use MT4. I Kuku use MT5. Uh, if it's MT5, that is making you to trade impulsively. You're a cat. You're a. <laughs> Techno Canon says it's really tempting. I understand. I've been there now. I'm not telling you what I've not gone through. I'm telling you what I've gone through. 1 a.m., I will own my, own my phone, be checking. This guy should go up now. This guy should come down. 1 a.m. 1 a.m., guys. So, Olufemi says, so you are trading on laptop. You are saying trading on laptops is better. I never said that. Uh-uh. Olufemi, did you listen to me at all? We are solving a challenge how not to trade Forex. I said that we have a challenge with trading impulsively and over trading. The reason why a lot of people are trading impulsively is because they are trading on their phone. I did not say that laptop is better than phone. I'm not saying that. Techno Canon says, I lost the gold I made because I went back again. I lost what I made. Yeah. So I'm not saying, if you cannot afford, if you cannot afford a laptop, you will then use a phone. But if you're using a phone, you now need to build your mind in such a way that you are disciplined to know when not to trade because an average person is not disciplined. That's what I am saying. And if you're not disciplined, it means that you will be having issues by trading anyhow, anytime. And it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It is just that indiscipline that is causing it. Are you ready for number five? So the number five says, don't neglect risk management. Techno Canon says, thanks, sir, for this. You're welcome. You are right, sir. An average person is not disciplined. I mean, that should. Ah, I can imagine if it's higher. Number five, I said, don't neglect risk management. Woo! Some of us on this call, our challenge is risk management. Our challenge is risk management. Why? We don't know what we are risking and we are in the market. I don't get it. Tell me the business you're doing. And before you take a decision in your business, you're already saying, this is what I want to do because of this. But when it comes to the Forex market, you are trading and you are going in on $1,000 and you have $1,500 and you're going in in a trade, then you now say that is the village people. What village people? Stop deceiving yourself. You are not using risk management. You're not applying risk management. There's nothing called village people. It only means that you are your you are your Village people for yourself, like this. And a lot of you that have been listening to my training, you still don't do it. You're on your own. And you want one special miracle? 
No, guys, you need to use that calculator. You need to know what you are risking. You need to ask yourself, what am I risking? What am I making? You need to have those, those intentions that need to be in you. Guys, I've been there before. All I was after was the profit I was going to make. I never wanted to know how much I was losing. It is when the market is in negative that I realize what I'm losing, what I'm going to be losing. Then I can't, I can't sleep well. I can't, I can't do anything outside trading. But before I go into the trade, if I can know how much I am risking, no matter what goes uh, wrong with the trade, I know that this is what I'm going to lose and this is what I'm going to be risking. Come on. Some of you that you trade gold, you don't know what you're risking. You see the movement. You just pick up your MT4 or MT5. You just click buy, sell, buy, sell. You are buying, you're selling, and there is no clarity. There is nothing you are doing. You are not, you're not sure of what you're going to be losing or you are in. Guys, you need to fix this. I was telling one of one of the forex traders reached out to me, and um, you know was saying that he lost over ten thousand five hundred dollars. And you know my 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 staff my admin was sharing with me. I said, anytime you lose money, you need to stop, pause, and go back to all your trades. Why did you enter? Did you track your record? Did you do a review? on your trades every week? Do you track those things? Do you question your action? There's nothing called fluke here. It's plain. Celeste says, you really understand the language of Forex, sir. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. God bless you and is really or is already blessing you. Yeah, amen. Because that's it. Don't trade when you don't know what you're using, what you're risking. Don't trade. Stop going after what you want to make. Also ask, what am I going to lose? Because there is somebody at the other part of the chart that is, is a liquidity provider that is waiting for you to lose. And you are here. You are trying to win. So for you to win, you need to be strategic with the trade and you want to enter so that you will not be a victim to the oh, oh to the liquidity provider. They are in business. These guys are in business. Stop losing money. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't lose money because Losing a trade is part of it, but let it be calculated. Let it be calculated. Let it be let it be calculated. Let it be calculated. Stop being angry with yourself. Yes, everybody on the call typing no more, no more, no more. That's what techno te techno panel is typing right now. Typing no more. I'm not losing again. Typing no more. Let's go. No more. Don't be too aggressive. Don't be too, use your calculator. Don't ignore. Don't ignore. Don't ignore. Not losing money to those people. I want to go in and I want to do it right. I'm going to do it right. I will learn it. Another part of that that is very important is trade management. This text says, I'm born again now. No more. 
Olufemi says, listening to you alone, I marveled. <laughs> oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Two more, guys. Another one that you used to do, trade management. You are neglecting trade management. Number six. You are neglecting trade management. Oh, what is trade management, Mr. Mayawa? Trade management is you must put in take profit, take profit, and you must put in stop loss. I was in a meeting the other time. One of the trainers said it does not use stop loss. Ah, I was afraid. Then the data said no, that his stop loss is wide and he uses it. I said, ah, eh? Your audience could have lost so much money. And the and the liquidity provider will be thanks, will be doing thanksgiving. <laughs> we'll be doing thanksgiving on your behalf. So uh, we'll be doing thanksgiving on your money. Father, we are grateful for the week. The week has been amazing. <laughs> Just because you're not using stop loss and take profit, you can donate. You can donate. Hey, Pastor Tai, good to see you. Let's talk tonight to Pastor Tai Party Man. Good to see you. <laughs> Ikechuku says, I was there, sir. I saw your reaction after he said that. I did not mention him. I don't understand where you are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't mention him. <laughs> okay. Your account size is your stop loss. If you don't use stop loss. Ah, that is it. I've heard before. Your account size is your stop loss. If you don't use stop loss. That is it. <laughs> Spectro Cannon says, sir, your, your, your teaching is really sweet. I'm just trying my best. Please don't donate. Don't donate. So what it means is that when you're going in a trade, you must have your take profit. You must have your stop losses. You must have them. I've told you severally. I, I lose trades. I lose trades, but I don't lose account. I, over time, I make all the money back because of trade management and risk management. You are in profit. You did not take profit. You did not take partials. You did not break even. And you're expecting growth. No. Some of us, if we apply trade management to our trading, we will be better because we have trade, uh, we have strategy, we have all of that, but we don't have trade management. And it is two things, it is two different things. It's different from risk management. Risk management is what you are putting in into the market. Trade management is how you want to undo the trade when the trade is on. That's how it works. You know, in the crypto community, some of my, some of my people, I told them since last year that we are not buying Bitcoin, we are not buying crypto for now. And it's as if Mr. Mayor why is weak. As if I can't tell them to jump in. It's because I've been here for a while. I know when to buy. The only challenge is that I cannot fast forward it. I cannot fast forward it to the time to buy. So I have to wait. Oh, when the push was too much, I started giving them project. They should be buying. Now, they are complaining that they are negative. I said, no, they are not in negative. It means that when it is now time to buy, you will now need a real buy. It's because you have to know trade management. When to buy, when not to buy. You have to know it. Even all your technical analysis, if not, you will. If you're following your group, I'm saying sell. Look for a sell opportunity. Sell opportunity. Sell opportunity. Checking all of those things because I understand what I am saying. Please, sir. Getting 50 pips a day is okay. 
even if not eating up surplus. Then please, sir, getting 50 pips up a day is okay. Even if not eating up surplus. I didn't get that, bro. Celeste so says, you know what you are doing in, you know what you are doing in Forex, sir. Because I check your emails you sent to me concerning DXY and you and USD pairs this week. It plays exactly what you sent in the email. Yeah, I'm just trying my best. Yeah, I'm just trying my best. And we have great guys that work with me in the office that have taught them what to do. So I want to beseech us that trade management is very important. Okay, so that you want to succeed and do well, please. I beg you, don't compare your growth with another person's growth. That is another challenge a lot of you have. You are comparing your growth process with other people. Don't do that. Don't do that. Position, create your own goal. That's why I'm not disturbed. Oh, this guy bought Lamborghini. This guy bought... Yeah, if I display everything me are buying. <laughs> no, it's not competition. Because it's not your money I am making. And you're not also making my money. <laughs> you're not making my money. I'm not making your money. So I want to beseech us, guys. These are, these are the ways not to trade. I beg us. I beg us. There's no, there's no comparison here. No, you're, you're not, uh, I'm not trading to make your money. You're not trading to make my money. We are trading against the big boys. Okay? Who are the liquidity providers? Oh, that's the game plan. Okay, Malik says, Position size calculator does not have metrics for gold and U.S. oil, and those ones are very tricky. How do you calculate that? I use other calculators. There are other calculators that has gold, and I don't. I don't trade oil. Not because I can't trade oil, because I can't create what I cannot calculate. Take forex trading when it comes to trading pairs as if a fashion designer is sewing every clothes and fashion designer is sewing few type of clothes. What matters is that the fashion designer must know what he is doing before sewing the cloth. That's what matters. So any pair you don't know how to go to go in. Stay away. If there is a calculator tomorrow that will show me how to calculate US oil, I will trade it. There is no pair I can't trade. Everything is market structure. I mean 50 pips, making 50 pips, even if it has not reached your take profit. Yes, it's 50 pips is fine. How can we calculate manually? I don't use, I don't calculate manually. I use my, I use either cashback forex calculator or my forex book calculator. So what do you think about trading one pair? Fantastic. If you are an intraday trader, just trade two pairs. I'm a swing trader, so I trade all pairs. And I trade from, I trade from, Higher time frame. So before I go into lower time frame, so it takes time before the market comes to my zone. So that's the reason I trade almost all the pairs. But why not? The calculator use my my forex book, my forex book calculator, position size calculator, or cash cash back. Yeah. Can we go further? Note your question so that I can go. There's too much, there's still a lot to teach. Avoid chasing the market. 
Avoid chasing the market. Who a lot of you, that's your major, major challenge. You chase the market a lot. So I trained them at the last um, trade and chill that the first move of the market is not your move. It's not your move. It's not your move. Please, what is your advice on trade management? That is, how do you take partials where you are in profit? Okay, try now. Try and all these questions there, eh? I'll take them after. And because as you're asking me, it's taking me off and there's still a lot to teach you. And I have just, um, I have just less than 30 minutes. Please, just note your questions. I will answer everything. So avoid chasing the market. Don't chase after trades or try to predict market movement. Instead, focus on trend, wait for your confirmation, and try to, you see, try to focus on your probability. You see, very important. Probability is very key. If I enter like this, how many times will I win from entry like this? How many times will I miss? How much will it cost me if I want to join your mentorship? I will answer this after. I love your teaching. Oh, you will love my teaching. I got here very hard, so you will naturally love it. Some of you don't know that. <laughs> you will love my teaching. Thank you so much, Mr. Celestine. I'll answer that after this, okay? So avoid chasing the market. Stop being like, that's why sometimes I'll tell you in a week, I didn't pick a trade because the impulse went up. There's a retracement I need to pick. I'm not interested in the impulse. Oh, let me go and be practical. Are you ready? Well, I'm, my time, my time, my time. Are you seeing my screen, guys? So let's say that you are a support and resistant trader and you have marked this place that you want to sell from. Now, and I go to one hour on that same zone. So what when the market got into this supply, into this support, I don't have business with it. Oh, geez. I don't have business with this. I don't have business because this is the first fruit. <laughs> this is the retracement. So when the market comes into a zone, either support and resistance, anywhere you are trading, uh, you guys know I don't push, I don't push any strategy. Every strategy works. Even in my mentorship, I teach, I teach the way I trade. I don't, it's not strategy that I teach. Uh, I teach the way I trade, which is called ITC, Institutional Trading Concept. So when the market bounces and get here and drop. When it gets there, when it gets here, I don't have business with this. The challenge is a lot of you wants to send enter here. And when you enter here, you will now call it sniper. Then you now screenshot it. Then you now put it on your WhatsApp status. Come on, come on guys. Come on guys, who have been there before? Put it fine, the common. <laughs> you, will, you want to enter those screenshots to send to your friend on your status to show people that you are on. Oh, 
You are not trying to make money for yourself. You have not made the money. You just enter on that zone, then you now screenshot. You now send it to the to your WhatsApp status. You put it on your Instagram page. You now do all of that. Now you are hey. Then <laughs> the trade is stop loss. You did not come and tell us. <laughs> you did not come and tell us that the trade have hit stop loss. But you left it there. You are telling us that you are still in profit. Ah, 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 ah. God will forgive you. <laughs> God will <is> for. <laughs> Olivine says, you are pinching me, oh. You are pinching me, oh, sir. I'm trying my best. Let us breathe, sir, please. But sincerely, is that no one alone? Let the brave traders breathe. Well, that's, that's it. <laughs> no, you don't have business with that. The rules of engagement says there must be an impulse that shows that the institutions are involved in that level. Hey, Mr. Zita, how are you doing today? The reason is because you did not wait for that impulse. You did not wait for that impulse. There was no clarity that the market was selling. There was no clarity. But you want to what? You want to jump in. You want to jump in. You want to jump. You want to hit it. You want to hit it very, very hard. Uh huh. That's it. But can I help you today? You need to be patient with that. Because it is not every trip you jump in on. Why? Because there must be a retracement. And that is when you will now what? Put your money for yourself. And by this way, your stop loss is better. That you make that money. And it's available on every chart. So instead of entering on this first move, this is the first impulsive move. Then this will be our entry. Then you do what? You go in. So you go in. Then look at the move, guys. Look at the move. Look at the move. It, get, it went down 1 to 12, 1 to 13. This is auto trade. Not you just trading and jumping in on every move. Come on, guys. If you guys are learning tonight, type in, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Snipe the retracement, not the impulse. <laughs> you snipe the retracement, not the impulse. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, bro. You snipe the retracement, not the impulse. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm excited. Great, 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 great. Fantastic. <laughs> but Sataya says, I'm learning big, really big. I'm really learning, Mr. Mayo. <laughs> I have missed your lessons. Hey, I can imagine. <laughs> let's 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 make it happen. Are you ready? So I've spoken about number six, I've given you extra, which is number seven, and number eight. Are you ready? Avoid trading without strategy. Avoid trading without strategy. If you don't have a strategy, why not go and learn one? If your strategy is not working, why not stop trading and demo trade? Some of you, you don't want to trade with demo. You are funding your account and you are losing. That's foolishness. 
The only book says Proverbs 6. He said you should go and learn from the ant. He said the ant does not need a teacher. He does not need a pastor. He does not need a mentor. He does not need, but he takes courage. He, he, he is self motivated. You, you now have a mentor. Upon that, you are still not doing what you are meant to do. He said the ant, eh? The ant, he will gather in harvest for the time where there is no food. Simple strategy. Simple strategy. Do you don't have strategy and you want to make money. How? Can you see? She cannot say, ah, all my money, all my learning was on my money. Who told you? As one of us, I told the man, I think he's on the score, Pastor Zita. I said, don't trade life accounts until you finish reading my books, my books on Forex, and until you finish the, the videos in the mentorship group. Go and finish that video. And I told him, finish it minimum three to five times. Because the money is there forever. Is there forever. The money is there. Next week is there. Next year is there. He's not running away. For you, you are just learning. You will watch one strategy video. You go and fund two hundred dollars. You lose it. You fund again. You lose it. You say that one is not working. You go and watch another video. You've not. You've. You've. Hey, hey, you've not understood it because there is no mastery. Mastery only. Money only comes when there is mastery. Ah, can you get? Did you get that? Money only comes when there is mastery. I'm posting that on my Facebook right now. You have not mastered it and you want to make money. How? Money only comes after mastery. You never master, you won't make money. Instead of you to use all those money that you are, you are to learn and master, repeat the video again and again, implement it, then start funding. You do not answer. You have $1,000 in your account. You have $25,000 in your account. You don't have, you don't want to buy a course of one time. You want to make 10 million. You want to make $1 million. You don't want to pay for mentorship. Picking signals and donating to the market. Ah, I did not mention that one. Pastor Ty here. <laughs> you are picking signals and you are donating to the market and you did not stop. I don't understand. You are buying profit every month, every week, and you did not. <laughs> oh, God. I'm enjoying myself, guys. Keep calm. Repeat. As a matter of fact, I declared, I declared, um, I declared the challenge for all my mentors, all my protégés, and all my students. I declared, I declared operation Go and watch all my course. Go and watch the course again five times. So we are on operation. Watch the course five times again. That strategy you are watching, you have, you have. Go and watch the training course five times again. As it, just watch it again. Because it is that time understanding comes. Understanding does not come when you read once. Understanding does not come when you read one. Understanding comes by hearing. And hearing is a continuous thing. You've not finished the video. You're already trading. Your soup. Ah, Daniel says you are, the, you are the prophet of forex. I'm just trying my best. Pastor Zita said, I try, I strictly obey. So far, I have read four, four, so far, I have read four of your books and demo trading. This has helped my psychology. Now, trading does not make, make my BP go up, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. 
That's what it does. Even me, I told my team that I was going to watch. If I, imagine me, I created the course. I said I was going to rewatch the video. I just gave you an assignment now. How many of us will do it? Put in one. I just gave you an assignment now. That strategy you are using, that you learned somewhere, go and rewatch it again. Operation, operation, watch it five times. Operation, watch it five times. Watch it again. Watch it again. Don't be like me. When I first started, I, I paid for my supply and demand course from a South African lady, 15,000 US dollars. I now came back again. I now pay another Pakistan, my mentor, who, who now trained me. I paid that one, not even up to $2,000, not up to $2,000. When I saw, when I saw the two, when I saw the two, I, I realized that it was the same cost. It was the same cost. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Celestine order says, sir, do you have physical class? No, we don't have physical class. All our classes are online because of our international students. That's it. So today I chat up with my mentor. Hey, coach, I need, I, I need a session. I mean, I'm already coaching some people. And you, you, are, you don't even have a mentor. You don't even have a strategy. You, are, you want to kill the market. Even those that are killing the market, they still honor their mentor. <laughs> yeah. Go and get soap. The time is really going. I'm trying my best to be fast. So avoid trading without strategy. I plead, I beg you. Avoid trading without strategy, okay? Don't rely on. Okay, let me say, don't rely solely on indicators. That's where I wrote it here. Don't rely solely on indicators. Don't rely solely. In one of your videos, you recommended spending 500 hours personally on chat. Looks much, but it's worth it to give. It's mastery. Money only comes after mastery. Money don't come. That's the challenge I have with people. They will call me. They will, they will first tell me all their challenges. They will say they are in loan. They, are, they want to pay loan. They will say that they are, they are going through a lot. They are this, they are that, all of those English. Then I will say, so what do you want me to do? I say, I want you to teach me trading. So that when you teach me trading, I can make that deal. I say, ah, it cannot work. You cannot make money to pay loan from trading when you have not mastered. There is a process before money comes. There is a process before money comes. I beg you, don't also go and borrow money to say you want to trade. Please. Please. It's very important. So I said, don't rely solely on indicators because there was a there was a man, there was a man, there was an MA cross trader at Trade and G. Yeah. Don't rely solely on it. And I said in the in the Trade and Chill training that the foundation of the market is market structure. You need to have market structure before you come in into this trade. So no matter the strategy you're using. No matter the strategy you're using, always, always, always tell it to yourself that market structure first. So indicator is good, but so don't de don't hold on on it. Okay, let me give you number number nine, uh, number number uh, eight nine. Okay. I've added extra to it, so that should be 10. So I'm going to number nine, right? Number 10 right now. Avoid over optimization. You redefine it. That's one of the things my strategy does. And I see a lot of my students, they want to redefine, redefine, refine, refine. Don't over optimize. 
while optimizing your trading strategy, you could have go through a lot. You know, you go through a lot. So please don't optimize. Don't optimize too much. Okay? That's what I told my team. I told, I told the guys, my, I said, yeah, I know you want to go and enter on five minutes. I know you want to go and enter on 15 minutes. I, want to go and, I know you want to go and enter on one hour. Um, sorry, on one minute from monthly chart. But don't over-optimize. Because sometimes the trades now take off without, without us. And we are angry. You know, but I said, guys, don't over-optimize. If it's, if it's from monthly time frame, enter on 30 minutes or one hour, you're good. Don't say you won't go and pick one, one minute or five minutes. If you can do it, good. But if you go there, you know that when you are refining, it reduces the stop loss to the best minimum. And you are also exposed to not being triggered. You are exposed to not being triggered. So you don't just want to um, do that. And the last but not the least, number 11 is don't neglect continuous learning. Last but not the least, don't neglect continuous learning. A lot of you, some people are in that group now. They won't come to class. They just want Mr. Maiwa to drop chart analysis on the group. Then they should enter the trade and they are, they are good to go. No. You have to really, really do what you are meant to do. Continuous learning. Now, also, let your learning be organized. Let your learning be organized. Hey. Let, your, let your learning be organized. Let your learning be organized, please. Don't just say, oh, oh, I want to enter. Let your, I want to study this. Let's start. No, 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 no. I beg you. Let your learning be organized. For example, I'm doing some courses this year. I'm doing some courses this year because I have organized my, my learning core in alignment with my mentor. I'm, I'm learning in alignment with my mentor. I've seen that my mentor have done, become successful. And I swear, I check the things. I organize my learning. So I don't see this one learn. See that one learn. I have just few people. In my personal development, I have people I list into. In my business, I have people I list into. In my forex, I have people I list into. I don't list into everybody. It's everything that shines, eh? Shine, shine is not shine. You get it. It's not everything that, that shines. It's, you have to be very careful with that. Have I been able to help you today? Great. Yeah. Because once you are able to get that, I guarantee you, you will be good to go. I guarantee you, you will be good to go. But if you don't put this in perspective, you're going to be missing out. You ain't going to be missing out. You're going to be, and I don't want you to miss out. Now, I, I, I want you to listen to some of the guys that have done amazingly well for themselves. List, listening to me, learning from me. concept training is money well spent for me i've attended a lot of trainings and coachings on forex but nothing beats the value i got from this particular training and i have a better understanding of the market and how it works my confidence level right now has greatly improved and i'm excited about trading again now 
what I learned has set me apart from over 90% of British golf traders out there. Now I know exactly how to trade like the banks and smart money institutions. I know how to cut trades with massive risk to reward. I know how to compound my accounts and make serious money in the market. Mr. Moyawa, thank you so much for revealing this trading concept at a very, very cheap price. I'm on my way to becoming your number one star student. All right? Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you. God bless you. This guy made over 10x of the capital he used to start trading of the amount he paid me when he came to learn. As a matter of fact, he has started his own academy right now. A lot of you would have been seeing his videos online running his own training. He's doing well. He, he met me, he met, he was still a student in, um, he was doing his master's in, um, in Cyprus when he reached out to me. And this is possible for everyone. This is another guy that won odd forex, odd forex money. This guy won odd forex money. So when I'm telling you all, all right, of I'm so things, happy to make this video. I'm smiling right now because ITC has done me well. I, my name is Eniola Diola. I joined ITC Forex Trading Strategy in about three months ago, and I was taken through the process. And um, so I had a little capital, and I decided to split it into two. So I made one as a context uh, account on uh, Odd Forex. And I just received a mail just now that I've emerged the most improved trader of the week with a cash price of some certain amount. I'm so happy and grateful to Mr. Mayowa, Wolabi and the ITC strategy. I'm so happy, sincerely, I'm so happy. You know, the thing about the strategy for me is not even this cash prize and all, but at least for once since 2019, I found a strategy that works. Trust me, I've gone hell and back. I've seen a lot in this Forex journey. I've joined so many signal giving group. I know their strategy. I've never seen anything like ITC. Sincerely, since 2019, I can just tell you right now that with ITC, I just began to win. I just begin to win actually. So I'm so, so happy and I'm grateful. I'm grateful and I encourage everybody watching this video, please join ITC if you want to be successful on this Forex trading journey. ITC to the moon. Thank you so much. So that video is basically for I think Mr. Celestine that said, how much is my mentorship? So if you really want me to mentor you, I'll take your questions after now, okay? If you really want me to mentor you, I, I run like a clinic. And the reason I do that is because I've been here for a while and I've seen how people lose money and I don't like it. Yes, I don't like it. The first thing I want you to do is to understand those who rule in the affairs of the forex market. That's the first thing. Okay, so you have access to a, several training. We have the, the, the forex course, the training concept. You, you get to, we have about four, uh, four sessions every week. You're going to be having access to, I teach you the strategy. You also have access to the COT training report, how to use the COT you have access to how to 10x your trading account course. I have that also. You have access to it free of charge. All of that. So the word cost of my value for mentoring you for one year is 11,000 US dollars. 11,000 US dollars for one good year. And the reason why I decided to do one year is because I discovered that a lot of time when people get strategy, they don't have the psychology. They don't have the trade management. They don't have the risk management. They lost so much money. However, in the community, the goal is that you learn how to use the strategy. 
and you can be in the community to begin to grow your money in bits or in fraction till you are gaining mastery on it. Like a lady who shared with me the other time, two months ago, she was very, she had made so much money. And we just have a private session. This particular lady paid for a private session, which is really expensive, 5,000 US dollars. That's what she paid for. And just a month after or six weeks after, she had lost um, about 40% of her account. I said, how? What happened? Do you know that she was following, she was up close to about, um, I think all of her trading accounts about $5,000. She had grown into about 7,000. She had $8,000. She had grown into about 8,000 plus. She had, you know, she was excited about it. Just for us to meet again, she had lost some money. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that. And I said, so what, what did you do wrong? Then we went back to the root and we discovered that she was, because she's not in Nigeria, she's, she's based in the United States. So we were able to identify what she was doing wrong. Because imagine somebody that was already grad, that was even, I was ready to send out graduation, you know, and we now had to identify what she was doing wrong. And I told her, don't fund your new, don't fund again. This account that is in negative is in negative of almost 40% of your account. You have to grow it back. That is the sign that you know what you're doing. And that's what she's been doing for the past two weeks that we've had our sessions right now. So I want to help you get started. And what I want to do basically is that instead of you paying $11,000, you pay $1,000 for that, for the session. But what I would do again tonight, okay, is just for few of you, you get access to the community for $800 instead of $1,000. Are you excited, Mr. Celestine? Are you excited, Mr. Celeste? Are you excited? Great. So reach out to, fantastic. So reach out to Bokola, but you must make your payment tonight. If you're not paying tonight, you pay tomorrow, you pay $1,000, okay? Because of what you're going to be, it's an average of $100 monthly, okay? But with that, you're good to go. Okay, good. Any one of you that are interested, reach out to Bukola tonight. Tell her that you just finished a session with me and I've given you extra $200 discount for the one-year mentorship. Okay? Congratulations. Or when people say, Mr. Mayawa, COT training. Yeah, pay for it. Pay for it. COT training, change of trend, change, um, rate of change, and index. Those trainings are together. Pay for it. Is one ninety seven dollars? Reach out to Bukola. You pay ninety seven dollars for it instead of one 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 forty seven. Yeah. So no, you don't pay hundred dollars, hundred euro monthly, or hundred pounds monthly. You don't pay monthly. You pay is a mentorship program, so you don't pay monthly. Does that make sense, wisdom? Yeah. But that's an average. It's an average of that. Great. Great. And the one forty seven, one ninety seven, one ninety seven dollars. That is the training. No, if you are paying for mentorship, you have access to that. Okay. Daniel says, how much is the cost? Sir? The cost is five hundred dollars. If you are buying cost alone. Okay. The cost is $500. You can pay for that. Cost alone without mentorship, you have access to the I. Is here already. You can. It's $500. That one does not go up or down. The only thing that goes up or down is the, you can see ITC trading concept, $500. Once you pay $500, you're good. So reach out to Bukola if you're paying for the mentorship. Uh, the COT report training is $97. And it has rate of change covered. It has um, index covered, $97. But if you're paying for the mentorship, you add that embedded. So let me take questions and let's shoot. Shoot me your questions. Let's go right now. 
let's round up in the, with the next uh, the next nine minutes. Tell me your questions. All the questions you've been have, having since. Are you guys excited? Did you learn? Did you learn tonight? Did you guys learn tonight? Great. Trading in the forex market requires discipline, number one, patience, commitment to your learning. Okay? And avoid common mistakes, common mistakes, so that you can win in the market. I really, really want you guys to fix that. I beg you. Fix that. There's just too much for us. And I don't want us to keep donating to the market. Any other question tonight? Have I been able to answer all of you tonight? Uh, I am but I'm patiently learning with those vi those powerful videos, sir. I am happy to be your mentee. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. Celestine says, my question is about CFTC. So tell me. Shoot your questions, guys. <laughs> 